Welcome to Mother Daughter Projects. Projects. I'm Steph. I'm Vicki. And today we're going to show you how we made the Star Wars lightsaber headboard. We gathered our materials and started by spray painting the large PVC pipes silver and the smaller ones red and blue. Next, I started creating the lightsabers with electrical and duct tape. We laid out the wood board that the lightsabers will attach to. We marked our measurements for the board and side pieces. We lined up the side pieces and marked where they will attach. We clamped the lightsaber and side piece to a board and used a drill bit that works on wood and PVC to make our pilot holes. We used wood screws to attach the side pieces in place. A nice strong hold. We cut our connecting board to length of the circular saw, but you could also get this done at the hardware store when you buy the wood. We used the PVC safe drill bit again to make a hole halfway down the back of the lightsaber. This is for the LED light cable. We needed the hole a little bit bigger, so we followed that up with a typical half inch drill bit. We covered the LED cables that would be inside the pipe with cling wrap. We thought this would be helpful as we would be using great stuff foam to secure the PVC pipes inside. Then we fed the lights through the hole. We connected the lights and turned them on. We set the middle PVC pipe in place and attached the lights. We bought adhesive color changing ribbon lights from Ikea. They're probably overkill for this project, but we have used them in many projects and have never had an issue. But there are a ton of LED lights you can pick from from many manufacturers. We realized a cut pool noodle was a great way to keep the middle PVC pipe centered. If we were to do this again, we would also add one to the top end. Next, we took the lightsabers outside to spray great stuff foam in the bottom and top to keep the middle PVC pipe in place. You might not need to do this if the pool noodle at the top and bottom make the lightsaber secure enough. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your great stuff. After the great stuff dried, we moved on to making the top of the lightsaber. We used a piece of paper to make a template of how much overlap we needed for the cover. Then we marked our cover, which is a desk mat from Ikea, and made our cuts. We marked where the bolts would go and used a hole punch to start the holes. We rolled the plastic and used bolts to keep them together. We used a metal bar to make the plastic secure. We finished off the top with black duct tape. This covered up the great stuff foam and gave a nice finished look. We slid the cover on and used a three inch clamp to keep it in place. We cut the excess off and covered up the sharp edge for safety. Lastly, we needed a way to keep the middle PVC pipe secure with the outside cover. We tried different ideas like wood or a pool noodle, but ended up wrapping aluminum foil in a circle and wrapping aluminum foil tape around that. This is the only part we're not so sure about. It works and we were out of ideas so we let it be. But we know there's probably a better solution out there, so get creative with your own. We also painted the connecting board black and sprayed glitter stars on it. We considered writing Andrew's name in Star Wars letters, but we wanted to keep it plain if the kids switched beds over time. We packed the lightsabers and board in the car and headed to nephew grandson Andrew's house. We attached the board to the side pieces on the lightsaber and got the headboard in place. We didn't need to attach the headboard to the bed as it's very sturdy on its own and against a wall. We plugged both light strips into a remote and plugged the remote into an outlet right behind the headboard. The remote will allow the lightsabers to be turned on at the same time. What we learned. So mom, tell us about this project. This was such a fun, creative project. We didn't have a plan from the internet to how, for how to make a headboard with lightsaber, so it was really a design process all the way through. And even to the very end, we had to be creating a way to solve different problems we came up with. Yeah, we actually just walked around Home Depot to get some inspiration and we came across the PVC pipe in the plumbing department and that really helped us get the idea moving and the idea always was to make this for the twin bed that uh, my nephew Andrew sleeps in. The real test is what the three-year-old thinks of it. Wait too long, they're coming with the lifesavers. <laughs> <laughs>